This video will demonstrate working with high-speed via structures from within the Allegro PCB editor. Demonstrated will be adding several via structures, replacing via structures, replacing a via with a via structure, redefining a via structure, refreshing a via structure, and disbanding a via structure. This video will work with high-speed via structures, but these commands can also be used with standard via structures. Let's first add in via structures. So we're going to use the route via structure add command. We'll be using this form, the add via structure form. I have several via structures in my database already. They're listed here. So let's first add in the breakout via structure. I'll select on that. Notice that the via structure will be attached to my cursor. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to place it on these red pins. So I'll just select on each red pin and the via structure will be added in. Remember, since this is a high speed via structure, the via structure can have more than one line in it. Let's add in another one. This time I'm gonna use the DP square return path. Now, since this is, as, it spec as you can tell, has a return path via in, I have to specify the return path to be assigned to the vias. So I will come down to here select there and I can just say this will now list every single net in the database I can say only show me DC nets I'll select on the ground net so what will happen is with the vias when I assign them the ground net will be assigned to the vias let me zoom in we're gonna place these on these pink pins that's my origin point Let's take a look at this real quickly and verify that our return path vias have the net ground on them. So the four vias around are my return path. And notice that it does have the net name ground assigned to them. Right, we'll go back to the route via structure add command. I'll pick on the multi via structure. Let me zoom back to my previous. I'm going to use these blue pins on the side. I can also manipulate via structures. I can do things like rotate them. So let me rotate that because I want them to go off to the side the other way. So I'll rotate that 180 degrees. Notice I could also specify that over in the rotation section over there. And I can also just drag around a bunch of pins or items to assign that to. Now, notice that it didn't do all those. It missed the, the, this pin and this pin. That's because those pins don't have net names assigned to them. Let me do a right mouse button. Oops. In my Avia structure form, I can say include unassigned pins. If I turn that on and drag a window, it will add the view structure to all those pins, including the unused pins. Let's continue on, add in a few more. Let me use the another return path. Again, now I have to come down here and specify a net. I'll use the same ground net as before. Another feature is that we can just add these via structures any place in my design, assuming that I have the free place via structures option turned on. Let me turn that on and we'll just place these down in the middle here. All right, up to this point, we've been adding via structures that were already in the database. I can also add via structures from a file on disk. Remember, if it's a high speed via structure, it must be an EXML file. For standard via structures, I can just add XML files. So let me turn off database, turn on library, and notice that I do have a DP return path via structure there, and I can just place them any place in my design. Next, let's use the replace via structure command. The replace via structure command replaces place instances of via structures with a new via structure definition. You can replace all instances, a uh, window selection, or manual filter such as by net, by symbol, and so on. So I'm going to replace the DP inline via structure with the DP rectangle via structure. So it's under route, via structure, replace. Go to the options window. I'll select in the old field and just select on DP inline. 
Notice it fills that in in the options window. Uh, the new field is now highlighted. I'll select on DP rectangle. Now since both of these via structures have return paths defined, it's going to keep the net on the existing one. So I don't have to assign over in the assign return path section. There's no way to assign that. So it's just going to use whichever net was assigned to these vias on all these four vias. So I'll just hit the replace button and that replaced all those vias. Okay, and I'll scroll down here. Here's another one I'm going to use. I'm going to select on, let's go to the old field, select on this via structure called DP. Now I'm going to replace that with a file on disk. Remember, uh, I can use XML files for standard via structures or EXML files for high speed via structures. So I'm going to select on the browser button. Let's use DP offset. Now notice that the assign return path net field has been enabled. It's because this one doesn't have any return paths, but DP offset does. So I have to specify the return path, much like I had to when I was creating via structure. So let me just turn on DC net, so I'll pick the ground net. Now this time I'm not going to do the entire board. I'm just going to do a certain window. So I'll enable window selection over here drag a window around those. It selected them and I just have to hit the replace button. Next, let's look at the replace via with via structure command. This command replaces vias in the design with a via structure by selection or all instances. So we're going to use the command route via structure replace via with via structure i going to go to my options window. First thing I have to specify is the pad stack of the VIA. So I'll select here. These are a list of all the pad stacks that are used as VIAs in my design. I'll select this top one. Then I need to specify what the VIA structure and replace it with. And again, I can use either VIA structures in my design or look for X, some type of XML file in my library. The only one in my design is this one, which happens to be this VIA structure here. So that's the via structure I'm going to replace with. These are the vias that I'm going to replace. Next, I have to assign a return path. Since the via structure that I'm using has a return path via in it, so I'm going to just go over here, select on DC nets, pick my ground net. Now I have two options. I can either replace all instances by hitting batch replace all instances or windows select. So if I do that, notice down in the command line, it says it replaced 93 vias with the via structures. I could have just done an oops and just Windows select around those three only. Next, let's take a look at the redefine via structure command. This command allows you to select a modified via structure instance and update the definition of all placed instances to match the selected instance. So right here I have four via structures. They all look the same right now. I'm going to modify this top one slightly. So in my find window, I'm going to turn on symbols. I'm going to hover over that symbol, do a right mouse button, unlock to edit. This via structure is now in a mode where I can modify it if I want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to slide these vias just a little bit kind of try to align them all vertically. All right. Now, I'm going to hover over that via structure, do a right mouse button, lock via structure, which basically is going to reestablish that as a via structure. So let's see if we can redefine this via structure so that all these via structures will be the same now. We'll match this one. So we're going to use the route via structure redefine command. Down at the bottom it says select the via structure instance to update the definition from. So I'm going to select on that via structure. And it's going to pop up a window that says, did you really want to do this? Do you really want to define all via structures of this, this name inside your current design? I'm going to say yes. And we see now that all those via structures match the modified version.
Next, let's take a look at the uh, refresh via structure command. The refresh command updates placed instances of via structures with the definition in an XML file on disk. Uh, it's either XML or EXML based upon whether it's a standard via structure or a high speed via structure. The XML files on disk will be located in the pad path variable. So we have four via structures here. They have been modified or don't match the original example. Uh, I'm going to update them. So we'll go into route, via structure, refresh. It's going to take a look at my database in the left hand side since I have select from the following list. This is, these are all the via structures that are currently in the design. Everything will be listed under refresh. If I have more than one I don't want to update, I can just push them over to the ignore side. Basically all I have to do is select the ones that I want, hit the refresh button. The system will say, do you really want to do this because it can't undo this? You can say yes, and it will update all of the view structures to match the XML file on disk. Finally, let's take a look at the disband via structure command. This command allows you to select via structures and have them convert it back to their via and C line parts, removing the intelligence of the structure definition itself. So first, before we do that, if we try to do just like the standard route slide command, and let me turn everything off so for vias, and I try to pick on this via to slide that via, notice in, down in the command area it says, cannot edit that via, the symbol DB offset has the locked property. So right now I can't slide that via. So I'm going to use the route via structure disband command to break down all the via structures to their individual parts. So we'll go route via structure disband. Notice down the command area it says select the via structures to be disbanded. I just select around the via structures. It now says two via structures were successfully disbanded. If I do right mouse button done, go back to the slide command and select on this video knows that I can now slide it. This concludes the video that demonstrated working with high speed via structures from within the Allegro PCB editor. Demonstrated were adding via structures, replacing via structures, replacing a via with a via structure, redefining a via structure, refreshing a via structure, and disbanding a via structure.